All right, round two. I'm kind of down here in the area of taking some pictures down here. Get back on the trail here. So welcome to the winter, Minnesota Winter Wonderland, part two. It's kind of, as you can see, the creek, the old creek down there. I just saw a rabbit over there, but just kind of give you a, an idea of you know, a little snow coming on. You just need some Christmas music. That bad boy, huh? Ooh, the balls. You can tell. I mean, it's not overly deep, but just, it's kind of the first official real big snowstorm we had. I know that uh, Lisa Lynn was jelly. I did a video, shout out to her out there in Pennsylvania. She lives in the great state of, well, she lives in Steel City, so. I don't know if I want to get on there or not. And I think I should be able to get on there. I'll walk a little bit out on the lake, but I don't want to, you know, out there, but to kind of give you guys an idea. Of, so you can kind of tell how that is, how heavy that is. It's just a, it's just a very cool day today. It's very, very nice. When it went, when it, when it gets windy, the uh, snow comes down a little bit. So. Winter Wonderland here. And uh, this is Shady Oak Lake. There are some uh, fish houses out there. And there's the pipe down there. That you can you can see the outline of it. I fished on the before called fishing videos, <laughs> and uh, that pipe was covered up for years. And uh, this pipe, when when the lake is up, and now they have it, it gets the fish will come up through, and then they come up my up my uh, creek, my backyard, big northern you net them, bring them back to the lake. I don't, I mean, I'm, I like fish, but. It's cheating, but uh, best much Shea Oak Lake, no walleye, a lot of big bass, northern sunfish, there's no public access. If you want to bring your grandchildren or yourself, a lot of lakes around here, Bryant Lake, are sunnies and bass and crappies. Walleye is a state fish, it's, you saw my videos in the past when I was up in um, Mille Lacs Lake, if they would get past the walleye behavior, it's a, a great lake. You know, it's more than, like, just dating only blondes or redheads. Limits here. I mean, I'm sure about height, but, you know, it's like saying you only want to date white girls. Okay, that's not, that's not a very smart choice. But anyways. A little squall that came through. But I'm... Let's go, let's go look at this, put behind me. The way I'm, is east, I'm look, you're looking back at right now. I can take that trail all the way to Target Center, People Stadium, Stone Arch Bridge that you saw. When you get the thing all done, the socialist train, and uh, you can uh, cruise. Sooner or later, they want to be able to go across the river, and I can see it eventually hooking up with Wisconsin. Carver County, when it went this way, they didn't continue on, which is stupid. You could have biked all the way to Glen Lake, I mean, to uh, Glencoe, excuse me. My aunt was from, so. So I think these videos are boring, but I think they're, uh, I think it's very interesting how the snow's on there. It is a winter wonderland. But yeah, it's, they usually plow this. I'm shocked. But 
the, the railroad you guys saw me walk on, you guys saw me walk on that one over in uh, Savage back in, um, came out today, matter of fact, a couple did, one more comes out tomorrow. You know, that, that guarantee it, all that snow out there is beautiful. Wish I had time to go out there and video, but you know, you, you only have so much time, so. She wants to go to Ridgedale today, go some shopping, so we went to Eden Prairie Center and went to Wall America, and I'll go, it's fine. Friday afternoon, I won't be around. It's a nice mall, they remodeled Eden Prairie Center in Ridgedale, real nice. Mall America's fun, don't be wrong, you go on a ride, and mainly more women's clothing, you know. Kids are old enough to say, I'll see you back here in four hours, you have bubble gums and some video arcades, and everything's expensive, but you walk around, and take you five hours to start, fourth floor, Hooters is up there, and then Baba Gump's had their clam chowder. Just work your way around, take your time. It's a big mall, though. They want to put a water park, which I like water parks, I like mini putting, so. The one ride I want to go on someday is uh, Valley Fair. The Wave, it's a great ride. You get wet, it's a great ride, Valley Fair. I've been there in 25 years. I could travel around the country, RV, get all the mini putts, all the uh, public golf courses, the munis they call them, every, every uh, water park, just enjoy the country. Up, especially the Oregon coast, I could spend a whole summer on there, just find a place and hit every golf course and hang out. Maybe go out on the ocean with uh, somebody. And West still undiscovered. There was that town called Keystone, Montana, I think it was the guy showed. Be fun to refire that up and sell the land. Put house is beautiful. It's an old, uh, coarse gold, but uh, that's a great video. Part time explorer. Pike Temis one also. Um, wandering gypsy. Check her out too, as well. She's been driving around here in December with her dog, so check her out. Give her a little love. So, a lot of good YouTubers out there that you guys be watching. It's History is another guy I like to watch. A lot of good stuff on YouTube. History stuff that's fun to watch. Very enlightening. You know, that, that pervert pedal, pedal should be executed. Uh, subway guy. You know, just, I don't know why they don't just, again, public hanging. Not that tough. What an easy job like us before in the video. All you do is eat Subway and Tell people, hey, make sure you work out. He was getting like a million dollars a year or something. Like, what an easy ass job. Like being a Burger King spokesman or a horse for Firehouse, call myself a Captain Subway or something. And you just go around the country, you know, to promoting uh, Captain Subway, Captain Firehouse, whatever you want to call yourself. And that's your job. It's, you know, tch, stupid. But. Yeah, you know, put them in general population, they'll take care of it. Trust me. That's all I gotta do. Here's my thing here. They took and put it over here. Remember that? So I'll kind of walk out here. It's kind of slushy right now. Yeah, I don't want to walk out there, but it's kind of slushy. It's too bad because the water was real thick. So. You guys saw me, uh, I walked along here, the drought. I swam out here before. He, people come out here all the time. I was fishing with a next neighbor and the kid, I caught a bullhead he brought it home to his mom. And my, that guy said, you put that in your garden. Why, well, it's an invasion fish. So he was all excited he got a bullhead while I caught it, but he'd never seen one. Cause you don't catch a lot of bullheads in the daytime. So I said, we used to catch them when I was his age all the time and we put them in my dad's garden. Cause they're an invasion fish, they a carp. Yeah, that's the NHLer. He lives there. It's just really kind of cool, huh? Just quiet. No one's out here on a Friday. Roads are kind of quiet in Minnesota. I think it's because of a uh, holiday season. So it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day to just kind of walk around videotape put up on YouTube because you don't get this this kind of uh, stuff in trees you just don't but, uh, 
I bought those, uh, you guys saw the short. I can make a uh, snow thing out of or something, so snow castle, three parts, so I bought that, so get a chance and use that if I have time. I can always bring it to the beach and have you help me make something fun, so who knows. I saw some kid doing that with his uh, sister. They made a huge one. It was cool as hell. Next morning, got Ocean came in and took her out, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. He was making a really cool one. They made a nice one. There was another one in Hampton Beach. They had a... Uh, um, sandcastle contest of people making sandcastles. It was cool. I couldn't pick one, but it was nice. Hanging out at the beach, making sandcastles, laying, laying in a chair. It's cheap fun. It's free, like on cruises. But anyways, here we are. So, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. Anyways, so we're going to walk down to the area that homeless guy is. Walk down there and some more videos and me work my way around. We'll see what happens. But anyways, you guys. Number two is in the books. Hope you're enjoying it. Look at that bad boy, huh? We're playing video games. Is not content. All right, thank you.